Welcome to Go Gamers Today's Game News. Before we get started, click on subscribe and click on the bell button to get the notifications for our future videos. Let's start with today's news. Last year, Petlogic developer Icepick Lodge said that while the incoming remake of its 2015 psychological horror game will remain true to its source material. It will implement some drastic changes so as to bring it in line with modern expectations. Having played and thoroughly enjoyed the teaser demo launched towards the end of 2016, named the Marble Mess, I can confirm Icepick Lodge has done so successfully. The team has now released the complimentary demo to the public. Designed to give players a taste of what's to come, the Marble Nest runs parallel to the game's main story and introduces players to its twisted environments. To check the demo public release, click on the link in the description below. Let's check the next news. Rain Games Tesla Grid is a fun platformer that landed in 2013. And as Phil rightly noted at the time, weighs heavily on the fantastical side of acclaimed inventor Nikolai Tesla legacy. World to the West in the Norway indie outfit's next venture, an action puzzler that's set in the same universe as an indirect forerunner and follows the story of four protagonists who harness distinct spatial powers. It also got a release date that is May 5. To know more about this scientific game check the link in the description below. It will take you through the gameplay trailer. Moving on to next. Just over two weeks ago, Warner Brothers and Monolith Production revealed Middle Earth Shadow of War. A follow-up of the 2014 open-world action RPG Shadow of Mordor. We have since discovered the SQL system requirements and have heard hands-off impressions following a demonstration and conversion with Monolith Vice President of Creative Michael Duplato. While Duplato spoke there about games' impressive sounding fortress assaults, highly varied combat and newly improved and expanded nemesis system, it seems Shadow of War will also broaden its boundaries quite considerably over its forerunner. Check the link in the description below for the gameplay trailer. The next one is about Overwatch character Orisa. The four-legged Overwatch tank with the gentle disposition who was revealed in the world earlier this month will leave her extended stay on the PTR and go into full release on March 21st. Blizzard revealed the rollout date today alongside a new behind-the-scenes video in which developers talk a bit about the inspiration of the character, what she brings to the game and where she fits in with the rest of Overwatch team. Check the link in the description below to watch that video. Moving on to next. AFK farming in For Honor is the practice of keeping your character moving in a match. By using a rubber band to hold your control stick forward while you are off doing something else, it's a way to pick up endgame rewards and progress your character without actually playing the game. And of course, it's very much against the rules. Ubisoft said earlier this month that addressing this problem has become a top priority and that violators would be hit with anything from warning or suspension, either temporary or permanent. On the off chance that anyone thought it was a bluff, a message posted recently in the For Honor subreddit made clear that it was not. In that, Ubisoft announced that the first round of warnings about AFK farming was issued last week and the first wave of bans went out yesterday, leaving roughly 1500 players out of the action for 3 days. New warnings have also gone out to another 4000 AFK farmers. So play ethically guys and don't get banned or suspended. That's all for today. If you like this video, let us know by clicking on like button. And if you haven't subscribed yet, click on subscribe for more similar videos. Thanks for watching and bye bye. Have a good day. You lost, so
sown the seed. 